Today, it's Jones Road, part two. Welcome in, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 and over 60 woman. Okay, <laughs> this is part two of me and the Jones Road saga today, but it's gonna be a good one, so I hope you'll stick around. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you leave and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want all the good stuff, you might wanna sign up for my Sunday morning email newsletter. The link is in the description box down below. Every Sunday morning, I send out a very short, very sweet, very fun and free. And honestly, it's the most popular thing about my channel. People really, really love the email newsletter and if they don't get it, <laughs> are really upset. In it, I include all the cool things I found throughout the week, whether it's a good recipe or a funny video or a good piece of information. Anything that I would share with you if we were out together having coffee, that's what goes in the Sunday morning email newsletter. It's super easy to sign up. You just click the link in the description box down below. Super free, super fun. I think you're going to love it. Well, as I mentioned, this is part two in me and the Jones Road saga. And if you didn't see it, and I'll have it listed in the description box down below, I did a review of the Miracle Bombs and the WTF Foundation from Jones Road a few months back. And the bottom line was, I just really, really didn't like it. It didn't work for me at all. And I was kind of brutal. <laughs> With it. I tried the WTF foundation. I tried almost all the Miracle Bombs. I bought a boatload of these products, spent several hundred dollars and did a review. And it was kind of a scathing review because this product, particularly the bombs and the foundation, just do not work for my skin. Well, a couple of things happened as a result of that, and I'll update you guys now because it was sort of behind the scenes. If you weren't super paying attention or if you weren't me, you didn't know it. The first thing was is that Jones Road really, really acted so professionally with me. They did not have a negative outcome from my video at all and I did not pull any punches. I did not care for these products at all. They were very courteous, very, very professional and very kind. And you know what they did? <laughs> they sent me a whole bunch of more products different from the Miracle Bombs. And the bottom line is, is that I have really fallen in love with a couple of the Jones Road products, which I'll be talking about today. So what I want to say is if you're looking for a company that treats people right, I think Jones Road is one of them. Of course, Bobby Brown is the founder of Jones Road. They were just stellar and they continue to be stellar. They really do. They are kind. They are efficient. All their products are similar in recyclable packaging, which I love. I mean, they're just kind of doing everything right. The second thing I want to say is these products, the Miracle Bombs and the WTF Foundation, I can tell you based on just sort of a rough estimate of the response I got from the video in the comments and emails I got about maybe 75% of the people who had tried these products agreed with me. Maybe not as strongly as I voiced my opinion, but they agreed with me. However, and this is an important however, there were a good number of ladies who absolutely love, love this product and stated emphatically that it's the answer to their prayers. It works for them better than anything they've ever tried. They absolutely love it, so on and so forth. And what that leads me to believe is that the Miracle Bombs and the WTF Foundation really, really tick a box for a lot of people. And I think those ladies, those people have super dry skin. We have girlfriends that have super dry skin. Maybe you're one of them. I don't have dry skin. As a matter of fact, I still have an oily nose and sort of an oily chin. I had acne and very oily skin as a young girl. It's changed a little bit over the years, but it hasn't completely gone away. But we have seen ladies our age that have very, very, very dry skin, particularly after menopause. And a product like the Miracle Bombs apparently really, really work for this population. Now you can see I have messed with these Miracle Bombs every which way from Sunday trying to get them to work 
for my skin. I used them straight out of the tube before and then you can see I kind of mixed it up because people say you got to get your fingers in there and stir it around and mix it up. Well the bottom line is is that this product is just way way too sticky for me and it just doesn't have quite the color payout that I'm looking for for this type of product. Now this is just me. Again most of the people agreed with me about this but there are a lot of people that absolutely love this product line. So Bobbi Brown is really hitting a market there for those ladies with very very dry skin. If that is you and you haven't tried this product what I would suggest is that you go onto their website and buy just a small one like a small miracle bomb in a color that works for you and give it a try because maybe it's going to be exactly what you need for your very dry skin and if you buy a small one you're not spending a whole ton of money and you can see how well it's going to work for you. So anywho, a lot of people said return it. Well, you know, I want to keep them in my collection so I have them to refer to as in this video because I talk about products. <laughs> That's one of the things that I do. And this is a product that certainly has a lot of opinions about it, both positive and negative. Now, what I want to talk about today are a couple of products from Jones Road that I really do like and have been in my collection. I use them almost every day. And when they're done, I'm definitely going to reorder them. That, along with some new products that they've sent me, is what we're going to be working on today. Now, I want to talk about kind of a middle of the road product for me. This is a cheek and lip tint. I like this product more than the Miracle Bombs. I'm not going to be using it today because I simply don't have a color that's going to work with the makeup look I'm going to do today. But I think that this is more along the lines of what would work for my skin. So if you kind of have that sort of medium normal skin, you might want to try these lip and cheek balms. They have a nice consistency and of course Jones Road is very very clean so you don't have to worry about putting a bunch of toxic and ingredients on your face. I might go on the website at some point and order one of these in a rosy tone, so that might be coming up in a future video. So I'm going to be putting a look together today with some products that I love and with some new products that they've sent to me that I haven't tried these particular ones. Now I don't have everything for a full look in this sample of products I'm going to be showing from Jode's Road so I'm going to be filling in with other products so I can get my makeup done for today. The way that I start in with my makeup is I usually do eyeshadow primer first. I'm not going to be doing that today because I'm using a cream shadow from Jones road and I want to see how it sets down without the primer. So the next step that I do in my makeup application is I start addressing all the different, I don't know, issues around my face. The dark circles under my eyes, the veins that are showing through now on my skin, the little doodads. And the one product of Jones Road that I absolutely love, well it's not just one product, there are a few products I absolutely love and I will reorder, it's these little face pencils. These things are the bomb diggity. Now I love them, love, love, love them and when I run out I am going to reorder. Keep in mind however is I have gotten some comments from ladies who say they don't like them at all, that they just don't blend in. That has not been the case for me. They blend in beautifully. On my face right now what I have on is my skincare. I put it on about 45 minutes ago, took the puppy for a walk, and now I'm here doing this. So my skincare has had an opportunity to sink in on my lips. I have just a little bit of the City Beauty lip gloss. I put this on my lips when I start doing my makeup. So my lips are a little hydrated and fuller and plumper by the time I get ready for my lipstick. These little lip pencils are really a favorite in my collection. I have two different colors. I use them for two different things. The lighter one and gosh what number is this? This is shade two. This is what I use underneath my eyes. Look at I got a blue stain on my finger right here. Sorry about that you guys. Let me see if I can clean that off. Hang on. So I'll just keep my finger down. The other lip pencil is more of a face tone and that I use for covering up you know age spots. I don't have a lot but color correcting and that sort of Thing. So this is where I'm going to start in first. These, I love them so much because they work really well and they're super handy, like super, super handy, really quick. So I'm just going to take this and put that right underneath my eyes in that little dark area. And see that vein that's sticking out? That's because as we get older, our skin gets 
thinner. So you're going to start seeing those show up. And I'm using the lighter color on those because they're darker. And then I'm going to go in with the shade, what is this, shade 4. I'm fairly light. And I'm just going to hit a few areas that maybe I don't, you know, kind of like the tone right now. You know, that area where your glasses sit on your nose and you can forever never cover it up. That weird thing. So just a little bit of this around. And then I'm going to take my finger and start tapping it in around my face. And the warmth of your finger and the warmth of your skin is going to help that really melt down and blend in. Underneath my eyes, what I'm going to put on top of that pencil is, this is the Catrice Under Eye Brightener. Love, love, love this. This is super affordable drugstore price. Will last you forever. <laughs> Trust me, forever. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on my finger and I'm just going to tap that in that under eye area. And you can see that that's going to help blend that pencil in, cover up that blue spot underneath my eye. And then this preps the under eye area for concealer that I'm going to be using later on. Next up, I'm going to be using the Jones Road Shimmer Oil. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, <laughs> that's a highlighter. Why are you using it now? Because I'm going to put it on underneath what I'm going to use on my complexion because it gives a different type of glow to your skin than just putting highlighter on top of the other face products. If you didn't see my video on a secret tip for mature skin, I'll have that listed down below. I really go into depth why this can really make your skin look so much more youthful. It just has to do with light reflection. I worked as an artist for 30 years and so I understand how light works. If you implement this trick, you're really going to be surprised at how glowy and youthful that your skin looks. So I'm going to take this shimmer oil and I'm going to put just a little bit. You don't need very much and I have too much there, but it's hard to get as little as you need. And watch, I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger. Again, this is way too much on the back of my head. And I'm just going to tap it in that same area that I would put a highlighter. And this is going to go underneath my complexion product. And what that's going to do is it's going to shine through that complexion product and give a very, oh, almost illuminated look to the skin. It's a weird little light trick and it really will help your skin look a little more glowy, a little healthier, a little more youthful. Of course, you need really good skincare to have that work out, but it does work out. Okay, so this is all tapped in. And what I'm going to use on my complexion today, this is the Revlon Illuminance, which this foundation is absolutely my very, very favorite foundation. This is the skin tint version of it. If you like a kind of glowy look with a nice product, but you like it a little lighter, this is the ticket. This is actually what I will put on my face if I'm traveling for the day. You know, it takes me forever to get to the West Coast. I live on the East Coast. When I go see my daughter, you know, it's a long day. I'll put this on my skin because it's just enough to kind of make my skin look a little smoother and a little nicer without feeling like I have a whole lot of product on my face for the day. So I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of this onto the back of my hand right here. And I'm looking around for my sponge. There it is. And I'm going to start applying that to my face. And you can see this is a lighter version of that Illuminance foundation. And it gives just enough to even out your skin tone, give you a little bit of glow, and just, you know, make the doodads look a little less doodaddy. So I'm going to let that set down and absorb into my skin. Next, I'm going to work on my brows. Again, Jones Road. I love, love this brow pencil. I use it every time I do my makeup. The difference in this pencil, and for you gals that like things speedy, <laughs> You might just really like this. I love this brow pencil because it's so big. It fills in my brows really quick and kind of defines that space when I'm starting in on my makeup. Do I go in with a smaller pencil towards the end for the detail work? Absolutely. But this is what I kind of just really fill things in quickly, get a nice color on my brow, and that really gets me started defining my eye shape. This is in the color, I believe it's 
taupe is that what they call it let me see this is blonde so if you're blonde this is what i use so i'm just gonna really quick and this fills in so quickly and when this is up i definitely <laughs> I'm going to buy another one because I love how fast that goes in. Now I'm just gonna take a brow brush and brush that through and you can see how nice and quick that was. Now I'm gonna use one of the Just A Sec eyeshadows. This product I'm sort of on the fence about. I can't say that I'm over the moon with it. I don't know that I would reorder it. This is in the color Cool Taupe and it's a shimmer shade. I usually don't use shimmer shades on my more mature lids just because I think it adds another layer of, I don't know, wrinkly crinklies. <laughs> That I don't really need. I generally just use matte shadows. I am going to try this today. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we're going to see. So this is a cream shadow. So I'm just going to take my finger in and get a little bit on my finger. You could use a brush and I may end up deciding that a brush is the best way to do this. But today I'm just going to use my fingers and get this on the lids. I do like this color very much. And to be honest with you, I don't know know if this shadow collection comes with matte shadows or not. And again, I did not use eyeshadow primer today because I just want to see how this works out on its own. Maybe you don't need shadow primer. Maybe you do. <laughs> I guess we'll see. All right, I'm going to start in on the other eye and I'm just tapping it in very, very gently. And as I get up towards that crease in brow bone, I'm just kind of bringing that product in a more sheer way up to that area. So I have that eyeshadow all tapped in. I'm not sure if it's gonna crease down or what. I do love the color. I think the color is very pretty, that taupey color. I'm not sure about the shimmer. What do you guys think? <laughs> I just, it seems like shimmer for me is just another opportunity for my skin to look wrinkly and crinkly. And I prefer more of a matte look. Now for my brow bone right up here, I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario palette and my little BK Beauty. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy, the 503 brush, which is my daily go-to. And I'm gonna just dip into this really light, oh, very, very light taupe. And I'm just gonna hit very softly the top tops of my eye area right underneath that brow. So we'll keep an eye on that eyeshadow. I may have to tap it out a couple more times before it dries down. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of under eye concealer. I could have done this before my foundation or after either one. This is the this is the Jouer and I've actually been really liking it. You don't need very much and you see I'm just going along that line underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna take that finger and just start tapping it in. And then I'm gonna take a damp sponge and really press that in. Now I'm gonna go in with a little Kosas Cloud Set setting powder and, you know, just sort of tap things down a little bit. That foundation is really light, but it's pretty. It just does a nice job of evening everything out. A Little bit underneath my eyes, over the bridge of my nose where my glasses sit and leave an indentation forever more, I guess. <laughs> and then down on my chin. If my makeup is gonna break up, it's gonna break up down on my chin. So I always try to make sure that I powder that. Then back in with my sponge, Sponge, and I'm just gonna really press everything in. In my mind, the most important skill in mature makeup is blending. <laughs> Just blend, 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 blend. You just want everything to look nice and smooth. Another product that I absolutely love from Jones Road is their bronzer. And I'm not sure, yes, she calls it a gel bronzer. This is in the color medium. Love this product. Love, love, love this. It's just super easy to work with. And I like the color of this medium. It's kind of cool. And by golly, you need so very little. So let me show you. That's what I put on the back of my hand. And that's probably going to be too much. You just need the tiniest little dot. So I'm just going to start placing that around my face. I just love this product. Wait till you see how it blends in. And I'm putting it underneath my chin because I want to create just a very subtle shadow so that area looks like it's a little bit firmer <laughs> than it is. 
Now I'm going to take my stipple brush and just start pouncing that in. And look at that color. It's so beautiful. Never looks cakey. Just really settles into the skin. And it improves, you know, over the next 10 minutes, it's really going to blend in and meld in. It is a really great product. See how beautiful that blends in? And it just gives a gorgeous tint to the skin. Isn't that pretty? I just love that. <laughs> the magic you can do with light and shadow with makeup, right? And then underneath my chin, I particularly like it under here because it's never going to look dry and powdery. It's just going to look like, you know, a very natural shadow underneath that chin line. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, I love that. And then with the product you have on your brush, you can go on either side of your nose with the leftover and it'll give just the slightest bit of shadow there, making your nose look thinner. I don't know if that's a thing. Okay, so we've got that all blended in. This is when I would go in with that lip and cheek balm. Let me see if I can get this right here, but I don't have the right color. Today, I don't want to put a hot pink on my lips. I don't want to put a hot pink on my cheeks. So I'm going to use my Ilia. I've been using the heck out of this. I am almost done with this just about every day. What color is this? This is At Last. And you can see it's just a really pretty dusty rose. So I'm going to get some of this on my brush. And I'm just going to go right in that upstairs area of my cheeks. Isn't that pretty? Mm, things are coming together. Now I want to show you a little trick you can do with what's remaining on this brush as well. You can take that and go right on the bridge of your nose just real lightly and that's going to give you just this little youthful look because it looks like you've been out in the sun and you got a little bit of sun's kissed face. It just is the funniest thing. It's so subtle but our eyes pick it up and register it as is kind of like outdoor sunny healthy sort of thing. Now I'm going to go back in with that face oil. Again, tiny, tiny, like a third of a pump. Just the tiniest amount there. Can you see that? And I'm going to get that on my fingers and I'm just going to hit that upper highlight area, a little bit on the tip of my nose, just because I can't help myself. And then over here. And that's going to give you a couple of layers of glow. And trust me, that light that you're going to be in is going to work with those two applications differently and really enhance the illuminated effect of your skin. All right, time for eyeshadow now, I think. You know what I want to do? I want to put on my hourglass first and get that done. But I want to take my sponge and really make sure that I blended everything in because that will creep back up into those lines. It just, it's the way things go. It's physics. <laughs> If you've got a lower area, that's where the product will go. But before I put on this finishing powder, I want to make sure that everything is nice and blended in. And then I'm going to take my fingers, make sure I've got this. So big fluffy brush. This is from Refer. I love this thing. It's the number 30. If you're looking for a lifetime brush, big fluffy brush, this is it. And this is the dim light from, oh, what is this? Hourglass. Love this. Will last forever. It is expensive. It will last forever. So what I'm doing is I'm just pouncing this over my face. And what that does is it just filters the whole face. When you put it over your eyes and around your nose and all of that, it gives this finish to the makeup that just pulls everything together because it's this very subtle glowy finish on top of everything. Now I'm going to use the Fix It from MAC. Time to dive into a little bit more eye makeup. This is the Refer Eyelash Curler, best eyelash curler on the planet. Honestly, I spent <laughs> most of my life buying cheap eyelash curlers. I could have just gotten this in the beginning and saved myself a whole lot of money and not have my eyelashes pulled and poked and pinched and everything else. This is a Maybelline liner and a tight line. And where I'm hitting is at the base of those lashes. That's where I want to fill it in. 
L'Oreal Lash Primer. I love this stuff. And when you're working with this, remember where you want to make sure it hits is at the end of your lashes because that's going to give you more length. Of course, you do want to get it at the base, but you want to make sure that you don't miss those lash tips because that's going to help that mascara hang on to those tiny, tiny little hairs at the very end, which is going to make your lashes look a whole lot longer. While that's drying down, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. tiny, tiny little pencil and just really do the detail work on my brows. Pull out the tip a little bit and just do the work that that big chunky pencil isn't going to do. I mean, I do love the fact that that chunky pencil fills in my brows so quick, but this little tiny, so like the finishing touches on the brows. Now I'm going to go in with the Jones Road Mascara. I think I've used this once and I don't really remember how I felt about it. So we'll use it again today and see what happens. Regular bristle brush with a little bit of curve. And the cool thing about that L'Oreal Lash Primer is by time you do your mascara, most of the work of your lashes has been done because all you're doing now is coloring those lashes down to the tips. And you can see how it makes your lashes look so much longer because you focused on those tips. The last product we're going to look at today, and these are new to me. I haven't even swatched them. These are the Jones Road Lippy Sticks, and it really does look like chapstick. They have three that they sent me. This first one is Mimoy. I think that's how it's pronounced. And let's see. Oh, they really are. You know what they are? They're like, they're like the balms. They're very, very... Oh, I don't know, sort of sticky, almost wax-like with very little color. Let's see what this next one is. This is Buff. I don't know if any of these are going to work out for our look today. I'm thinking not. Yeah, see the Buff hardly has any color. So maybe these are just more like lip balms or chapsticks that you would leave in your purse. And this is pink nude. I don't know if this is going to have any color either. Yeah, see, these are just very, very subtle colors. I think good for in the purse. I don't know if I would use them for a makeup look. I don't know. Let's go ahead and put one on my lips and see <laughs> how that looks. Um, this is buff. So let's just see how this looks on the lips. And it twists and turns up just like a regular chapstick. So, I don't know, is that enough? What do you guys think? <laughs> So here we have the finished look. I did not use one of the Jones Road kind of lippy sticks. Where's one right here? For my lips, there just wasn't enough color. So I just went ahead and put on a lawless lipstick that I had here on the table and then my Kosas lip gloss on top of it. Let's kind of walk through what I tried today. Where I want to start is with the eyeshadow. You know, I just can't say that I'm a fan. <laughs> I don't think it does anything for my more mature lids. Now, if it was a taupe that was a matte color, maybe. But what I did notice is that it has continued to kind of fade away during the course of me putting on my makeup. I had a deeper, richer color on my eyelids at the beginning, and it's kind of just sort of faded away to a very sheer look. If that's your deal, this might be a good choice for you. Probably not going to be something that I'm going to use again. Now, what I really do like about the Jones Road lines, and there are several things. I love these pencils, these face pencils. They're so handy. For me, they work beautifully. There are days that I'll just put on the face pencil in a few places and just dot a little bit of blush on my skin and I'm out the door. I find these to be a great value and very, very handy because they're so doggone quick. Add to that these brow pencils. I really do like the brow pencils. Now, all of these I am going to repurchase when I'm through with them, but they have lasted me, gosh, for a long time, and I use all of these every single time I do my makeup. I do love the face oil. I don't know that I love it more than any other highlighter. It is a beautiful product, though it's very, very hydrating. So if you have dry skin, this might be a good choice for you. And the thing that I'm finding as the years roll on is I'm using more oil or cream-based 
products just because my skin is getting older and I feel like they blend in or soak in nicely. So this is a good product. I don't know if it's my favorite highlighter, but it's definitely one that I can give a thumbs up to. And then another absolute love, and I mean love, 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 is this bronzing gel from Jones Road. It's a beautiful product in that it just looks really pretty on the skin. It doesn't ever look cakey. It doesn't look dry. It's just a beautiful glow. I've had this, gosh, for quite a while, maybe close to a year, and there is still so much product in here, so it will last you forever. If you like just a really beautiful glow for your bronzer on your skin, I don't think that you can find anything better than this. The mascara, you know, it's okay. I don't think it's anything you need to run out and get. It's all right. It's very light. If you like just lighter, fluffier, softer looking lashes, this will definitely give you that. But you know, it's sort of a middle of the road product in my book. So that was Jones Road part two here on Pretty Over 50. There are some products from Jones Road that I really do love and I am going to keep in my makeup collection and reorder. Some things I don't care for, but other people do. Some things I absolutely love. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this fun, useful, and helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You guys know it just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me. I appreciate that and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything beauty, fitness, and lifestyle for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.